Good morning guys and welcome back. So I just want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Everybody's on holidays, they're taking their summer break. Well, in Australia and New Zealand, it's summertime in other parts of the world. If you guys are in America, which I know a lot of you guys are, it's winter. So when you're either, if you're here and you're diving up the beach, you want to let your tire pressures down. If you're in America and it's snowing, you also want to let your tire pressures down if you're going in the snow or you're just four wheel driving in general. It's a great way to create a better ride, get a bit more traction out of your tires. But what are the best budget tire deflators on the market or off the market? It doesn't have to be a tire pressure gauge um, or a deflator. A lot of people go full hand with it and they go um, four different like hoses with a full um, air tank in the back and heaps of crazy stuff. But a lot of that stuff is very expensive and a lot of that stuff is out of a lot of people's price range. I think a lot of people, from what I've seen online, like I'm not 100% sure because I've I haven't looked into the expensive stuff that much but I've seen some pretty impressive setups and they look pretty cool and I can see the benefit of all that sort of stuff but what about the budget stuff that's exactly right what about the budget stuff what about the stuff for the people that can't afford a $145 um, tire deflation device because I know they're out there um, but still want to air down the tires make sure they're monitoring the pressures um, and to be able to get out of a stuck situation because as soon as your bog just stuck the best thing you can do is let down your tire pressures so how can we do that in a safe way and also a cheap way as well so I've kind of, got a couple different options here um, my son's got the tire that's a, actually a gauge that I bought from this is from 4-wheel drive supercenter this is like $15 um, a lot of people will buy a deflator and a gauge as well you don't actually need both this gauge, just the gauge by itself, um, will do both. I'm not 100% sure about the deflator if that's got a pressure gauge on it as well. I think it does. The deflator will probably be a little bit quicker, um, that's for sure, but this will still work as well. The thing you want to do is locate your valve stem, which is normally somewhere in the vicinity of the wheel. Um, a few of them might be a little bit hidden, but you just want to take off that cap. So a lot of people, a lot of people know this stuff anyway, but I'll just go over it. Anyway, quick tip. A lot of, I've seen a lot of people when airing oh. down, yeah, Bailey knows this one. A lot of people went airing down, they put this in their mouth. Don't do that, because my dog doesn't do it because I always tell him off, but I've seen a lot of dogs, especially if you park your car out on the street, not in the garage, what they do, dogs will go along and actually pee on the wheel and tire, so that might be actually covered in dog piss. So the last thing you want to do is go putting that in your mouth and you bite. Oh, that doesn't taste very nice. I wonder why. If it's covered in dog piss. So locate that, um, and then you'll see the valve stem in there. Can we borrow the gauge, Bailey? Uh. Can we borrow the gauge? Yep. Can we borrow the gauge? Can we put the gauge on there? Come on. It's not very forthcoming with giving up. Daddy will show you. And everybody at home, oh, just stood on my pair of glasses. Anyway, we'll sh we've got another, all right. So, with the gauge itself, uh. can Daddy use it? Um. Alright, so it's not coming up the, the gauge, it's probably the one that a lot of people know the most, it's the easiest way, um, or the tire deflator. But what about stuff if you forget your deflator at home, if you forget your gauge at home, what do you do? Now a lot of newer cars um, have a tire reader inside the car, so you can use that. What you can do is you can either use a stick or a rock to deflate your tires. Obviously it's going to take a lot longer, but you can use it. If you get one with like a little bit of a point on it, and actually that valve stem inside, the valve there just a little bit all you got to do is rest it on there i'll show you the point in the rock the better and you can hear that air coming out so you can use a rock you can use a stick whatever it might be now if you don't have any stocks rocks or sticks and you're out on the beach what you can do a lot of people wear sunglasses because it's mainly just trying to get past that's all right we'll just wait we'll just wait um, but if we go any, before we go any further guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys are using to air down your tyres, whether it's some massive contraption that we haven't heard about, how much it costs, what you're using, let me know in the comments below. But if you're up at the beach and you don't have a stick of rock, you can actually use your, your sunglasses, that little tip of the sunglass, just the same sort of thing. Air down your tyre pressures. And then you can go back to wearing your sunglasses. Or not. Either way. So you can, you can use rocks, sunglasses, car keys, whatever's got like a little point on it to actually create pressure on that tip there. 
to release the uh, pressure of the tire because that's pretty much all you're trying to do. So Bailey's trying to do it. Can you do it? Oh, close. Can you get it? It'd be pretty actually cool if he does get it. Oh, close. But all you're trying to do is um, press down on that little um, inner valve um, and release the pressure. Obviously, you, that's a way to do it, but you can't actually monitor tire pressures. So, the first one we should have done was the gauge itself. Uh, it's the well-known one. It's the one that a lot of people actually have, and it's really inexpensive, but it's very handy to have um, inside your Jeep, inside your four-wheel drive. So, this was about $15 from four-wheel drive Supercenter. You can get them off eBay, Amazon. Um, and a lot of them are pretty accurate. Um, you can get more expensive ones, hundreds of dollars. So all it is, is this might be quite hard with one hand. So, so to get the pressure, just hold it on. Um, and what have we got? We got 15 PSI on that. To reset that, there's a little um, switch just there. Um, and two, lower your tire pressures with the gauge. All you got to do is, normally you would hold it all the way on to get the pressure. To release the pressure, just bring it back. What do you think, Bailey? And then all we've got to do is re reset it. Bloody mosquito was just biting me. Reset it, and then take your pressure again. What have we got? We are down to 10 psi, so it doesn't take long at all. Um, so those are lots of different options, budget options. See, Bailey's trying to do it as well. It's not very hard, so budget options you got the tire gauge would highly recommend having one of those on your vehicle that way you can actually monitor your pressures uh, whether you're driving around town or forward driving especially forward driving um, for tire deflation you can pretty much use anything a rock wherever my sunglasses went over there you can use a rock you can use keys sunglasses whatever it might be you can use a whole whole range of different things a stick but let me know in the comments what you guys are using whether it be your car keys a stick a rock um, your son, whatever it might be, let me know in the comments below. But those are a few different budget options for um, tire deflation. Um, really inexpensive, you can get both if you want, but it's not really necessary. I know a lot of people go ham and spend a lot of money on these sort of things, but it's really not necessary. This is a quick budget way um, if you guys want to save money um, and also get out and have fun. And if you are, if you are stuck, there's no there's no nothing like stuff that you've got sitting around you, whether it be rocks, um, whatever it might be. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you like this video, smash that like button. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are letting your tire pressures down with um, and what you're checking them with, with as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.